I'm going to show you how I'm using the free version of header footer code manager plugin that's helping me add snippets of code to specific posts or pages with a click of a button. The header footer code manager is a simple and effective tool that easily allows you to add snippets of code to your header, footer, or any part of your WordPress website without making any edits to your themes code or fussing around with the <laughs> main code, your themes main code. And that is very difficult it is hard especially to a beginner i've done it things have happened and that's what led me to figure out what plugins i can use that would make the adding of mater name description a lot easier i'm going to show you an example we're going to speak about the header and my blog posts. I'm in the back end of one of my WordPress websites. I have the plugin settings section open. Today I created four new um, snippet, snippet names. I already have it open. We're going to speak about Upside Cash Back Gas App. And I'm choosing this because I have three blog posts that I speak about this topic. I named it Upside Cash Back Gas App. I'm sticking with the HTML snippet code type. I'm focusing on specific paid, specific posts. I'm sorry. I'm focusing on specific posts. And when I click here, all my posts will populate. And here, upside cash back gas and food, I'm going to get rid of that. Well, then it adds it to the list. Right there, see? And all you have to do is tap it. I'm focusing on the header location. I want it shown on all devices, active. It also creates a short code. That's for another video. And here's the code that I will include in the description below. So you can easily copy and paste it to help you move along learning how to use this free to use plugin that's amazing. And this is a snippet of code that will get added to every one of these posts. Well, it's already added. And what you're going to do is after you highlight the code, you're going to highlight my description and remove it, delete it. Yeah, I'll do this. I'll cut it. This is really the code that all you need. And then you add a description because this is a meta name description that will go into the header. My windows are open. Sorry about the background noise. To each one of these posts with a click of a button. I write more. I create more posts about this topic. I'm just going to go in here and add it to the list. Done. I don't have to go browsing through header codes and move things around and take a chance with the theme code and it causes more problems. This is a great way to do this. So you will add your own description and make sure it's not too short, but then also make sure, you know, it's not too long. Anything longer than this, I've learned maybe a couple of more words would be okay. It, I use tools that tell me if it's okay or not, and I'm learning that this is, whoops, this is good. And then you click update. Um, I hope that's hel that helps you. This helps you work faster, more efficient, and you don't need to be a diehard coder. That's very hard to do. It's good to have basic knowledge of coding. I mean, I could write that out. I've done that before. I've even put it in my themes code and there was a problem. And that's what led me to learning about this header footer code manager plugin. I don't need to mess around with my themes 
um, you know, main code and move things around. I just don't. So this is to help improve your SEO, search engine optimization. This is to help improve your SERP, search engine results page indexing into the search engines. You want to get all your URLs indexed into the search engines somewhere, you know? Now, if you follow me, I've been very focused on bettering my understanding, perfecting my skills, getting all my URLs indexed into the search engines, and it's working. And if you watched my early, earlier videos, I already show an increase of post URLs getting indexed, pages getting indexed, videos getting indexed into the search engines. Well, the, perp the reason why I'm doing this, it's because I want to start earning money daily from ads showing on my websites, and it's working. I took a screenshot. I'm going to show you a screenshot. It might seem very little to you, but it's a huge accomplishment for me. And that it, it, this also confirms that what I'm doing is working because now when I go out later, sorry, there's nothing I can do about that. I have the windows open. I live on a main road. This isn't about perfection. This is about teaching. Here we go. You might go, yeah, big whoop. Yesterday, someone clicked. I can't show you how many impressions or how many page views, um, how many page views produced this. I think it's against AdSense policy, but I can show you a screenshot of this. Yesterday, someone clicked. I can't, I can't, I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to tell you how many clicks, but I earned a dollar forty-one from ads on my websites. That tells me, on this one website, I haven't even gotten to the other one yet to start making that better and earn some real money. And today I was pleasantly surprised when I signed in and I was browsing around because I'm learning. Oops, I'm learning. And I don't know if that's gonna come back, it did. I earned 37 cents so far. So that tells me my URLs are getting indexed. I'm getting found. My URLs, my websites, URLs are getting found more often, which increases the chance of someone clicking on an ad. And you also earn fractions of pennies from impressions too. But another video. I wanted to share this with you. I hope you appreciated it. I hope you learned something. And I will add that code in the description below so you can follow lead. I'm using the free version and it works great. Until next time. Oh, I, was, <laughs> I didn't forget this time. Please give a like and subscribe if you want to continue to learn about all the things I'm learning on how to build your own WordPress website and how you can generate, set up to generate daily streams of passive income. Have a good one. Bye for now.